gonna tie a soft tackle fly today. I'm still busy tying in black and red because that's the color coordinations for a wedding. This is one of a group of flyers I'll be tying in black and red and later on be fishing even though they are all for a wedding. It's just to prove a point. Let's just dress the hook. I'm going to put some copper wire on, which I'm going to use for ribbing. I like a red copper wire. The amount of hackling you put on here depends on what you want to achieve from the fly and what you want it to look like. But uh, my view today is aesthetic, so we'll just put it on just so it looks nice. I'm going to use a black dubbing. I like to tie my flies normally a bit bulky and a bit buggy, but in this case we'll use quite a thin dubbing. A little bit more. Take off any axis we don't want. Going to rip my fly with a red copper wire. Trap it down. I'm going to whip finish my black cotton off because I'm going to change it to a red cotton. Take some red dubbing. It's a bit of a bulky dubbing, this, but uh, it looks good for wedding purposes. Like I said, I don't mind a bit of a buggy look. It's fine. I've already pre-prepared some feathers. I've stripped these off on one side. And I've palmed the other feathers on the other side back. To make for easy trapping down. Okay, I'm going to trim the little extra tail off here. pliers. Like I said how much hackle you want depends on what you want to achieve by the fly. Oops, the rubbers just come off my hackle pliers. Let's place the cotton in position. Two. Drop that down. Just using the cotton to get the desired effect of pushing the, the feather back. You can spend a lot of time trying to get the feathers to lay in the correct position. But it's easiest just to use the cotton. Going to work finish. it off. 
this stage you can decide whether you want to use uh, head cement or not and that's the fly not bad at all